Okay, well in the last video, we looked at how to make a service, how to add elements, firstly by bringing them into the program, if you remember, and secondly by bringing them into the service itself. Right? We looked at what it can do, what you can pull from, so on and so forth. We looked at adding them, saving them, opening them. Now today, we are going to look at a more specific topic, one which is often used by me and by others in the church, and that is the topic of adding a new song, adding a new song into OpenLP. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I've just begun a new service. So, there's supposed to be some song that we're going to be singing Sunday, but it's not in this long list. So what does that mean? Are we dead in the water? Of course not. We can add a new song. So where would we go? That adds it to the service, so we wouldn't do that. Let's click add a new song. It's the sheet of paper with a green circle and a plus sign. We put in the title of the song. All right, I just made that up on the spot. Okay, we input the lyrics here. Now take note here, verse 1, that's where we're starting, all right, click add again, we're going to make a chorus here, O Lord be my helper in times of storm, O Lord be my helper when another is warm, O Lord be my helper in every old day. O oh Lord, be my Savior, be with me. I pray. Not bad. All right. All right. So, not too many songs just have one verse and one chorus, so let's make another verse. Verse 2, take note. O oh Lord, be my helper. When patience is thin, O oh Lord, be my helper. I do want to win. That's verse 2. Alright, so we got two verses and a chorus. Now, how do we make that actually show up on the screen? Because in this order, it looks like it go verse 1, chorus 1, and then verse 2. But after verse 2, we want to sing the chorus too. So where do we go? We go right here to verse order. It'll even give you a warning at the bottom if you've not used all of the items in your list here. So we want to sing verse 1 first. And of course we want to sing chorus 1 after that. Then what do we want to do? Right, we want to do verse 2. And then we sing chorus 1 again. <clears throat> Let's say we wanted to sing verse 1 again though. What would we do? We would put verse 1 and then chorus 1. All right, and you could do this however you want, and it would be good. Now, after that, we can't just save it. I'll show you what happens if you try to save it. 
You need an author for this song. Author? Ronnie Barnes. And you have to click Add to Song. Okay. No book. If we had a book, we could click here, Manage Author Topics and Songbooks. That's kind of outside of the scope of what we're doing here today, so I'll leave that. And it's not going to ask for it when we save it. There it is. Oh Lord, be my helper. So, what do we do now? We want to use it in the service, so we drag it on over. Now, let's see how it would look. There's course one. There's verse 2, and there's course 1. Verse 1, course 1 again. Very good. All right, that is how to add a new song to OpenLP. Just rewind it to the beginning if you need further instruction.